Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the set location method and how to use it with our turtle class or our actor classes. So, set location is another type of method which allows you to move a certain object from one point to the other point or from point A to point B. So let's try to see how it works by checking first the Greenfoot class documentation. So I went to the actor class because set location belongs to the actor class category or methods belonging to the actor. So let's just read the uh, description. It says here, assign a new location for this actor. So it's very simple. It's very straightforward. It tells you what exactly it is. So when you use it, you assign it to a new location. Um, you assign the class or object to a new um, place or a new location. So here, it requires two values, int x and int y. That refers to the x and y coordinates. So I hope you remember them in math, where x and y coordinates can tell you where to find a certain object is. And this is also how our uh, um, GPS also work. If you use an app like Waze or Google Maps or even Maps in Apple, that's how it works as well. So set location requires two parameters, X and Y, or if you notice, it, it is also int, meaning it requires you to provide a numerical value, which is an integer. If you look at the uh, return type, its return type would be void, meaning it will not return any information back to the user, but it will only do the action, which is this one. So now let's try to use set location. So Let's return to our turtle scenario or trick scenario. Let's open the editor. Okay, so for now, let's uh, disable move by converting it into a comment. So to do that, type two forward slashes before a certain line, then all text after those uh, two symbols will become a gray comment. So rendering it, um, well, unusable for, for the meantime. But uh, let's type now set location. Now as for set location, um, we're going to type here uh, like uh, values such as zero, zero okay so zero for x zero for y let's try to compile and see what happens here if you want by the way to uh, resize the text because it's probably too small for you to see you can press ctrl plus or minus near the numbers or the numerical uh, row so plus or minus control plus or minus of course control plus to make it bigger so that you can uh, now see so line 17 is now set location with the parameter 00, zero. let's see its effect in our actual code let's place our turtle here okay its current location is not yet 00, zero yet once you place it if i check it uh, manually I can right click on that object, select inspect, and see that its current x and y are 171, 163. Okay, don't worry if you are still confused where uh, Greenfoot got these numbers from. But let's observe as we run the program. Okay, so if you notice our turtle went this way, went to this area, for what reason? So let's check the new coordinates of this turtle. Right click again, I 
click pause first and then select inspect the new values would be zero zero and again this one now value or this area here would be zero zero whereas earlier we have a different value or a larger number so before we fully uh, use set location let's know how to get these numbers and why is this top left area would be zero zero let me illustrate that to you in a uh, in microsoft paint so let's say this canvas here is our world in Greenfoot. we now know that this top left corner is zero zero as its current coordinate now in Greenfoot, contrary to what we know in math whereas uh, our um, quadrant system has negative and positive values in this uh, program or in Greenfoot, the canvas or the world has no negative value. So its origin point already begins in this top left area, which is zero, zero. So what about the values here? Top uh, right, bottom right, and bottom left. So let's find out. So to know that, of course, we have to know what is the maximum width and maximum height of our world so how do you find that out of course there are other ways or um probably two ways to know that but i'll teach you first or for now how to get that easily and that would be simply right clicking in any empty space in the world select inspect after selecting inspect you'd find that we have uh, some values here, cell size, width, and height. And this width and height refers directly to the size of the world. So width is currently 600. Okay, so this is horizontal length. So the width is 600 and height would be 400, which is the vertical length. Okay, please take note of that. So our maximum width would be 600 maximum height is 400 in the future you may want to change these values that will be possible by of course um changing this under my world but for now that's not part of the lesson so let's proceed with again with our uh, microsoft paint here so we know that this is zero zero so if we move along the line or along the horizontal length you would know that this area now here or the top right corner would have a value of of course x would be 600 did we move vertically or did we move along the y-axis so of course not so would our value change here? So no, so zero would be our Y coordinate. Now, what about the other two corners? So for this left side or, or um, bottom left corner, since we move down, okay but did, we did not change horizontally our direction so of course x this does not change which remains as zero and of course since we move vertically we will get the maximum height of 400 and finally to know because this point here would be the maximum and this would be the origin this would have the 600 and 400 x and y coordinates so the bottom uh, bottom right would have these values now okay any guess on what is the current or the value in the middle of the screen given that we have a width of 600 and a height of 400 
if you guess that the value in the middle is just half of this, you are correct. So this point here, the middle point, would be half of 600, which is 300, half of 400, which is 200. Okay, so let's uh, go back to our turtle. It's currently at 0, 0. Let's say we want to put our turtle in the middle part of the screen. Let's use, uh, of course, the values 300 for x. For the y, we'll have 200. Okay, and then let's compile. Okay, let's go back to the main window. Let's place our turtle. So we are going to manually place our turtle. Of course, we haven't run the program yet, and that's why the set location is not activated yet. If we run the program, see now that our turtle is in the middle part of the screen, and if I inspect, it is actually 300 and 200. So that's how you place a certain object in a specific location using set location but of course that's not the only purpose of set location there are other ways let's say for example if you want to use set location for placing certain objects or controlling a certain object to go to a, cer uh, to a certain place or specific point in the world you can also use that with our key down method so so let's say I replace this with uh, if is it is at edge. I'll replace this with if. So our code for using our uh, keyboard to control our object would be pinfoot dot is key down. Please mind the spelling. Okay. So, up, type up here. So, I added braces for the then statement. Remember to place your then statement in between of those two braces. Then, I'm going to use set location. Okay. So, again, if you, it will require two values the x and the y okay but this time please observe that i'm going to type here get x open and close parenthesis comma get y open and close parenthesis then of course at the end i'll set or i'll i'll add semicolon there now if your if you don't know yet what get x and get y stand stands for, if you notice, remember methods have uh, a parenthesis right after them. So it's actually a method. If you check the actor, I think you remember it the last time we discussed the return types. We discussed get x and get y. And what does it do exactly? Return the x coordinate and of course, forget y is the y coordinate of the object's current location. So if we use if we use this method, we're going to get values for x and y. So it will provide now values for x and y. However, if we press the up key, it will only set the location to its current position. And this has to change, remember? Since we want to move up, which coordinate should we change here or modify? Should it be along the x, which is get x, or along the y, which is the y axis? Since the up and down directions belongs to the vertical movement, of course, we're going to change the y values. Okay, since we want to go up, I will be typing here minus 5. 
click compile and let's observe what will happen if I uh, if we apply that so please uh, look closely how I wrote it look closely how we wrote the parentheses and please look closely the operator or the operation minus 5 minus 5 is not in the parentheses but outside the parentheses so meaning you get the y first then deduct y or deduct 5 from the current y so let's see how our new co code works so I'll place the turtle in the middle run the program and again because of the set location it brought our turtle to the middle part of the screen and now I'm going to press the up arrow key or the up key okay so apparently this would be the movement so it will go up however if you notice it actually budges it returns back to to the value or the original value because remember we have our code outside which is set location which actually prevents us from moving farther away from this so instead i'm going to uh, disable this first set location let's go back to our screen place the turtle somewhere in the middle if i run this program please observe i just press up and that's how you can actually use set location to move directly up i hope you know already how it works because that means if our turtle is in the middle of the screen, so let's say I'm going to make a representation of the turtle. So let's say this object here or hexagon is our turtle. It's value 300 by 200. So let's say 200 minus 5, that means that will be 195. And where is 195? Probably along this area. So definitely it will go up now how about if you want to make your object to go down so what do you do let's uh, copy this if statement you make sure you copy everything the if and the then Control c then make another line i, I just press enter right after that I'm still in the yellow area, inside the yellow area. Pasted the copy of this. Instead of up, I'm going to type down. And then, what happens if I change this to plus sign? Okay, so I want you to apply that in your own code. And I'm sure what happens in your code, how set location is used. But for this activity, I want you to also add two other um, controls that will be the left and right. So left and right, um, of course, know what part of the parameter should you change here. Would, would it be still the get y? Or the get x already okay so that's it for uh, for this lesson so I hope you know already how set location works and how the coordinate system in Greenfoot also works by looking at this so that's it I'll see you next time